Hello and welcome everyone to a new day and to a new video. In the last class we were doing a doctor's journal entry for 6th August 1945. This is a class 9 topic from the treasure chest book and what we are doing we are discussing the questions, important questions in the multiple choice question format. Okay, this is for ICSC and uh, which year it is going to come in the board 2025 because this is for class 9. Uh, no, sorry, I'm very sorry. Class 9, this portion will not be there possibly in 2025. You will have a portion of this treasure chest book. So as of now, this is for class 9 and do follow it we don't know whether you will have the complete book in your exam or only a portion of it as of now we know this much that you will have this much portion only in class 9 and the rest of it in class 10 okay so taking on to that not adhering to the whatever happened in before the covid right so this is your website and why I'm saying it is your website because you have a lot of relevant content over here and you can use them for your exam purpose. This will help you and this is completely free, right? You can even comment over there if you require something. Okay, the paraphrase and everything. So let's move into our questions. If you haven't followed last class MCQs, do check it because very few MCQs you will get from this particular topic and we have discussed everything over here. You can, this will of course help you. So if you want to share your questions, question papers for me to discuss whether literature or language because I'm not good in any other subject. So uh, do share your question paper in a PDF format to slotskill.contact at gmail.com. I discuss the question papers, uh, all the question papers uh, and the extra question papers that I have made with my batch students. But of course that is not possible in YouTube because not much time is available over here. But if you share your PDFs, I have got many already. So if you share your PDFs uh, near the near December, we will start discussing those papers. Let's start with the first question. What literary device is used? I believe this is the ninth question because already eight questions we have done in the last class. So ninth question, what literary device is used in the line? A house standing before us tilted, swayed, toppled and crashed. Okay, so till here we see suede is there, standing is there. There is a, uh, you know, there is a majority of S word, right? S sound. So we can put it as alliteration, not the others. Okay, next question. What is the significance of the narrator's feeling of shame at being without clothes? I told you in the last class that significance of not wearing anything, significance of the silence. These are very important questions. This year, because this is the first time this book is introduced, you will not get very difficult questions from here. But whatever I'm telling you, you must revise them repeatedly because there is a huge chance of these questions appearing in your exam. It represents a loss of dignity and privacy. So, significance of the narrator's feelings of shame. Alright, so what does this actually tell us? Is it a loss of dignity and privacy? It symbolizes the vulnerability? No. It highlights the importance of personal belongings? No. It suggests a cultural taboo related to nudity when you are not wearing anything that is called nudity. It is nothing related to that. It is actually a loss of dignity. We also, you know, symbolically it also suggests that just like we cannot accept going outside our house without wear or even outside the washroom without wearing anything. Similarly, it is kind of devastating. It is a loss of dignity. You might okay about what human beings have done to other human beings how can somebody devastate uh, an area with uh, atomic bombing right so it is a representation of loss of dignity and privacy next question the passage conveys a sense of surrealism and disorientation so they are disoriented they don't know what is real what is not okay whether this is reality or no whether this thing has actually happened with them they are disoriented, confused. Okay, so the, which word best describes the atmosphere created by the author? It is not serene. It is not whimsical or light-hearted. It is chaotic. When people cannot understand, they are confused, right? That what is happening? These kind of questions are very common this year. Okay, in the passage, the survivor's silence is described as common to us all. It was something which is very common. This also I told you in the last class. Silence is very common. Silence is symbolic. What is the significance of this silence? Represents their shock and disbelief. Signifies a lack of communication. No. Significance. Na? Matlab, symbolic meaning kya hai iska? Communication nahi hai. Wo to pata lag raha hai. Ki silent hai. Matlab, communication nahi hai. That is literal meaning. What is the significance? Symbolic meaning. 
it reflects their inability to speak due to physical injuries no it symbolizes their peaceful accept they are not peacefully accept nobody can accept see if if an atomic bomb uh, like fingers crossed never this thing should happen uh, to us but if it ever happens god forbid it if, if it ever happens we will never be peaceful with it right we will be devastated we will be chaotic about it confused so it is a situation of disbelief okay next what is the effect of author's use of the word weird in the passage right so what is the what does the word weird mean over here it adds a sense of normalcy to the situation weird cannot mean normal if, when we say that somebody is looking weird that means very strange so b option seems suitable let's read the others also you should always read the all the other options because one option can be better than the other it cannot be humorous it is not at all the theme of the poem it implies narrator is not surprised by the events no of course he is surprised so option number b is the best one next question what is a central event or disaster described in this passage what what are we talking about okay what is it? this is the simplest question that can come over here it is atomic bombing right not an earthquake not a tornado not a volcanic eruption it is an atomic bombing next question which of these statements is not true very important always check whether not word is given or not right because this is what not is given what is given we are not supposed to write that right the doctor lit up his stone lantern the doctor's clothes were inexplicably gone okay they were suddenly you know away from his body burnt away the doctor's wife came out numb and scared one of the doctor's cheeks was torn by a piece of glass see all these are options are correct right all these are there in the poem but this one the doctor lit up his stone lantern he did not light it up right it was suddenly lit up all by its own so this one is wrong and because the wrong one is only asked what is not true the false one is asked so this is false and therefore our correct option is option number a right i hope till here you are completely clear with the mcqs with the options so if and if these questions does not come in the mcq format you might get it as a short answer type question okay like what is the symbolic significance of silence in the play what is the symbolic significance of the other words that i told you about the uh, about the nudity in the in the in the poem right so these questions can come as your reference to context question also the all the questions whether it is in mcq or normal questions are very very important so do not uh, uh, like skip any of them i believe you have liked the session and you will not forget to like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon because you should get updates of the videos daily uh, there are certain problems in youtube sometimes you do not get them so press the bell icon uh, keep it all for all notifications so that you get all of them and you can choose whether it is for suitable for you or not right because 9 10 11 12 all the classes i post videos for iccisc but grammar is uh, almost same for all the class so you can practice all and also join my telegram channel or whatsapp channel so that you get updated about the website posts the channel posts right so that you don't miss any and last but not the least what you are supposed to do like i tell you every day you are supposed to this i think there are seven questions overall right so if there are seven questions what you will do is you will write over here in the comment section how much you have scored out of Seven, right? Uh, overall, also you can take total fifteen questions. You can take that also if you want. Yeah, out of fifteen, how much you have scored if you have solved all of them together? But uh, whatever you do, you must write to me this one so that I can frame the question papers according to your. Uh, that will help you out, right? In the end of the day. Thank you so much. I hope once again a reminder. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that it, these videos help everybody, whether they live in a city or a village or anywhere. Right? Thank you so much. See you soon, my next class. Bye bye.